friends. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, today has been pretty quiet compared to uh, the past couple of weeks. And today I'm going to do a video. And I haven't done one in about 12 days. Or I haven't uploaded one in about 12 days. So, um, you know, I've been on this closet roll. Um, I told you at the beginning of the year, my word for the year was revival. And I was going to revive everything in my house. I was going to touch every room, every closet. And I am paring down and uh, organizing and purging and blessing others with things that I no longer use. And so today we're going down to the coat closet. And after the coat closet, there are only two more to go. And one is a half, so there's one and a half to go. But um, Orlando went in the other day and took out the coats that he was going to send to um, Goodwill. And I'm, I think that I'm going to stop using Goodwill, but that's a, that's another subject. Um, I love shopping there, but I, when I donate things, I really want people to be able to get them for free. And a lot of the things that I donate are really nice things, and I'm sure you do as well. And so I'd like for them to be given to someone else. So I think I'm going to find um, a different place to, to do that. Like... When I go through this closet, they're going to be leather jackets and things that um, I can no longer wear or um, that I no longer care to wear. And I just think that, um, you know, someone in need, they don't need to pay for them when I'm giving them away. So, yeah, but that's another topic. So I'm, I'm looking for someplace else to do that. And I'm also going to try and sell some things as well, as I keep saying. So um, fingers crossed on that. We'll see. But um, for those of you that have that responded to my community tab, I want to thank you for the prayers and the positive thoughts for my father-in-law. He is still in hospice, and so the family has rallied. And that's why I haven't been on in a while. Um, I just haven't had time to video. They moved him from um, a city about an hour and a half away here. So he's here. So we try to get up and see him, get up to see him almost every day if we can. Um, and if I don't go, my husband does. And my sister-in-law, and they're only the two children, my husband and his, his sister, she lives that hour and a half away. So she can't come every day. And so we're giving her a little break because she's had him until he was he was brought up here. And so um, we're, we're trying to support and to be there for him. And we want him to not feel neglected and left alone. So somebody tries to look in his face every day and say, Pops, we love you and we're here. So uh, that's what my life has been like. Uh, also, there is a change in my personal life as well that I'll share um, sometime in August because it really doesn't take doesn't happen until August and so I'm going to just wait until then to share it with you but believe you me that here in our household in the coward household there is a lot a lot going on but again I want to thank you all for the prayers and for your grace that you've shown me since I haven't been here I know how YouTube is you know if you don't post once or twice a week, people forget you and they move on and they unsubscribe. But I've, I've watched um, my subscription list and I just want to say I appreciate you all so much. My numbers, I know that my watch time will go down, but my number of subscribers has not moved. And I am so grateful for that. I thank you for your grace because, you know, family does come first. And so... Um, even if some do leave, there's nothing that I can do about that because I will still support the family because that's number one. Um, also, I had my grandson for a few days last week. I mean, it's his summer vacation and with everything else going on, it was the first time that he, he slept over here. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot right now, a lot. And again, I thank you. I thank you for your grace. But right now... Um, we're going to go downstairs and we're going to pull all those coats out of that closet and uh, we're going to purge and go through them and then we're going to clean the closet and then we're going to put what we're keeping back and we're going to do the shelves and we're going to do the floor because there's stuff everywhere and we're going to fix that today and I am going to bring you along with me. So 
I hope that you guys will be inspired by this video. I hope that, you know, before winter and before the cold weather comes that, you know, and your kids go back to school too, those of you that have kids, now is the time to go through these closets and to get things organized and straight. You know, you've got to buy school clothes. You need to know what fits from last year, what doesn't, if you have growing kids. And uh, for yourself, for your wardrobe, you need to know what you're going to do for fall. Are you keeping everything, things you didn't wear last year? Are you still going to keep them? Don't do it. Don't do it. Because then you're just going to want to buy something new this year. I also know that money's a little tight for some of us, you know, with gas prices and the recession going on right now. So if you have things in your closet that are still in good condition, now's the time to go through, purge your closet, sell them. So make your little extra money. Or if you are not inclined to do that, bless someone else with them. But now is the time to do that before fall hits and you know we're all scrambling to decide what we're gonna do. I have gone through, let's see, one, two, one, two of two of my closets up here. And believe it or not, because he wouldn't let me put it on, on camera, Orlando went through his kiss closet and it is immaculate. I am so proud of him, but he didn't want me to video it. I wanted to do it so bad. I do have some clips that I may do a short because I did it before and then I did an after, but he didn't want to be, he, he didn't want anyone to see what he was pulling out of that closet, but he did an excellent job. And then I, I helped him to organize the shelves. But, um, so that one's done. So that's three. So now we have the coat closet to do. I have the extra closet in the guest room. In the guest room, there are two closets, and he has one, and he has part of the other. But also, there are hats in there that I used to wear to church. There are hats that were my mom's that, you know, I inherited that I'm not going to wear. I mean, I still go to church, of course, but do I wear a hat? Mm, not often. So I'm going to go through that closet and then clear up some of those shelves. And it's just, um, I think it's just time, you know, just to do this. It's nice to be, have everything stacked nice and neatly and organized because I love that. But there's some things you just don't need to keep. So why not have some empty space, right? So that's what it's all about in 2022, reviving our spaces. So I hope this inspires you. And I'm going to stop babbling. And I'm going to get started. And I hope that you'll stay till the end of the video to see the reveal of the coat closet. I did purchase... Let me say this, you know, I love the little sucky bags, you know, that you put stuff in and take your vacuum cleaner and suck the air out and they get small. So they had some for hang up clothes as well, which was new to me, but I have some. So the coats that, cause you know, I'm in North Carolina and um, with global warming and all, how cold is it gonna get this winter? We don't know. I am gonna keep a couple of, just two. I made up my mind, I'm just gonna keep two heavy coats and I'm gonna put them in the sucky bags. And we'll see how many jackets I keep. But, you know, we go through this winter here, you can put a trench on. And if it's cold, you can put a trench on with a, a lining in it um, and be warm enough. Or I can. I'm just really not that cold-blooded, you know. And when I first moved down here from, from up north, uh, it was like my blood had to thin before I even needed a coat down here. But I do need a coat now when it's cold out because, you know, I've adapted. been here a long, long time. So this is home long time and um but I don't need all these heavy coats and and things and I think that when I did my closet I kept too many of the boots too so I'm gonna circle back to that and maybe get rid of some of those boots it was just hard hard to do it because I love them you know you buy things you love right but we're gonna do this coat closet and see what's left and we're gonna suck up what we're not using very often um and see if we can make some more space in that closet. I just don't like it when you push things around and you can't get into things. And whoever had the house before, the couple that had the house before me, um, what they did in the coat closet, because it's narrow this way, but it's deep this way, they put um, a rod in front and then they put a second rod in back. So I'm gonna take the coats, the heavy coats that we're not using and don't use often and put them on the back rod. And then on the front, I'll put what we use more often. So you'll see when we get down there, you'll see. So we're gonna get on down and get it done. But once again, because I want you to know how much I appreciate you guys, I wanna say thank you for thinking of my family. And I want to say, 
or ask you to continue to keep us in your prayers um, as we go through this this hospice thing. It's it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's just we're holding our breath. We know what's going to happen, we, but we just don't know when. And doctors can predict, but they don't know either. Only he knows. And so um, we're willing to wait on his time. And that's what we're doing. So let's get started. Let's come on in and get into that coat closet. So friends, you know how the game goes. We're going to first start by taking everything out. But do you see what I mean? When I tell you this closet was jam-packed, um, I was not joking. It, it is jam-packed. So um, I'm going to take stuff out. And most of this now is mine because, like I said, Orlando has already taken uh, most of his I don't want out of here or I don't need any more out of here. So I'm going to set this to music and not bore you with me just pulling things out of the closet. But that's what I'm going to do first. And then we'll we'll clean it up a little bit. And then we'll start going through all of these coats. Folks, make sure you check out all the stuff that's on the floor uh, in this closet as well. Um, it's a hot mess down there, but we're going to fix all of that as well. Do you ever wonder just how do these spaces get into messes like this? I do. It makes me so happy when I can see floor <laughs> in a closet. And you see how deep it is? So there was just a lot of stuff in there because there's a lot of space in there. So all of it will not be coming back. My goal is when we're done to still be able to see floor. So friends, there's some marks on the wall that I'm going to get down here and uh, clean it up before I start putting things back. Um, I guess it was just some scuff marks and that kind of thing. Um, just made it look kind of cruddy. So I'm going to do that and clean the baseboards and uh, then we'll start putting stuff back.
Friends, I had to call in the cavalry. I need a little help with this um, project. The coats were heavy, and um, when Orlando came in, he decided he would help me with them. So he's putting the, them in the sucky bag for me because it holds five, but we, in some, we had more than that. And uh, he's going to take the vacuum and suck them down to nothing. And then we'll start putting it back. We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. But try searching. Hey friends, it's happy time. It's time to put things back. Now, the the few um, light jackets you see that are not in a sucky bag, I don't know what else to call them, um, are jackets that, you know, we grab if it's raining out and that we'll wear when it starts to get cooler right away. Um, the ones on the right are Orlando's and mine will go on the left and everything else will go in the back of the closet. And the floor area is clean. The shelf, the shelving is clean. And so, um, yeah, I'm just going to put things back and then there will be a little reveal. I thought this was going to be simple, but I tell you what, when you put those heavy coats together, they are truly, truly heavy. And I had to eventually stop, <sighs> give myself some grace and wait for Orlando to get here to help me. But it's done. And in a minute, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. Those, um, whew, I look horrible because th this was, this was a trip. Those, um, hang up bags, they work really, really well. I will, uh, leave a link to them below because they really did work. The thing of it is they get heavy. So you may need help if you are storing a lot of coats and we had a lot of coats and maybe, you know what, maybe that's the issue. And I did get rid of one or two and here is the let me turn here is the bag and it's full of coats and it's it's really not that many when you think about it uh, Orlando's shoes don't go he just ran to the store in his slides and left those in the middle of the floor uh, everybody let him know that he shouldn't leave his shoes in the middle of the floor we have a place for him I'd appreciate you if you did that but anyway these are what we're getting rid of but this is what we're keeping. Now, we put the light coats that are going to come first when fall hits up front. Look at that. I love this. You have no idea how that feels to me. To be able to look and see and know what you have. Now, back here, I will say this. Each one of those bags only holds five heavy coats. Maybe enough for you. Well, we used all four because, like I said, we had quite a few. I came from up north and I had some, I got rid of some, but you know, like I kept two really heavy ones. He kept three really heavy ones just in case it gets cold. Um, cause you never know. And then I have, or we have the ones that come in when it's, you know, things he loves, you know, like sports teams, like on this one and 
you know, you, you can't ask your man to get rid of everything. And then we have, I have jackets in this one. And, you know, it's just different things that we don't need now. And uh, we may not need until it gets really cold. Now, the jackets I may open earlier because they're not for real cold. And what's here, here's what I'm into now. Heavy coats just don't do it for me anymore. I love these vests. So I kept those out. I love wraps. I kept this out. And I have three that are in a bag. Um, I did keep out a coat for church. And the rest are just comfy stuff like to throw on, to go to eat, or to go to the gym. You know, hoodies. And we both have those. And so we left those out. But in the back... So that we can get to them if it gets cold. Uh, I have, I think, more than he does back there. But, you know, maybe those are all mine. Oh, my. Okay. Let's not talk about that because he'll talk about me. So, yeah. And then up front, I just kept one, two, three, a uh, little light, little, really, really light, weighing nothing trenches that are comfy and nice if I'm wearing a nice pair of slacks or something and don't want to wear the sweats and one that repels rain and he did the same rain repellent rain repellent and a couple of nice uh, warmer hoodies and that's what we have in there can you see that Isn't that wonderful now up top the basket houses my Winter scarves, gloves, and hats. And I kept it there because it works. And I kind of like the gloves hanging over the side. Also, I have my steam shot. And in the white basket are his 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 caps, you know. Uh, my husband is bald, so he's normally wearing a cap of some sort or another. And that's they're all in the white basket. I am so proud of him, though. You guys, I don't know what's come over him. He went through it, threw out the ones that are no longer useful, and kept the ones that he likes. So that's that basket. Further up, you'll see uh, travel cooler, coolers on rollers. There's one behind it, the blue one that you saw at first, and then this is a new one. We travel a lot with couples, uh, our friends, and like when we went to the mountains, and there's a video on that. And if you didn't see it, I'll leave a link below. Uh, you know, we get a cabin or we get a house. And, you know, we all bring something. You know, everybody brings th their favorite snacks. Uh, everybody contributes. Everybody cooks breakfast one day. And so, you know, we roll in <laughs> with stuff like that. So we ordered a second one because when we were there last time, went to the mountains, we only had the one, and we need another. Now, we didn't need it going in. But coming out, we found this great market. And if we had had another, we would have come home with more of their meat. The prices in the mountains were great, but we only had the one. So when we got back, we ordered a second one. So there's two of them, one behind this new one, the blue one that you saw. And then on the other side, that little black and blue thingy is also a cooler, but it's round and... um it doesn't roll, so we mainly use that on the deck, and we fill it with ice and put sodas and drinks and stuff in that. But it would work as well when we travel with friends. Now, on this right side are all candles. Um, I love them, and they are uh, battery-operated with remotes. And you know how you order a pack, and you can't order, I guess you could, but I haven't. Just one. So you get a pack of four, you get a pack of six, and you only use two or three. And so these up here, up here, are the extras. And so that's what they, what's there. So the top shelf, are you know, has things that we don't use often. The second shelf are things that we do use. I wish the top shelf had, had more room. I would have added the winter gloves and scarves and hats as well of mine, but it did not. So that's there. And then there's my steam shot. And if you see what's up front now, let me explain. Orlando thinks that our grandson needs flippers 
There's a kite up there. I don't know what else. But I put my foot down today and said, when he's here next, if he doesn't use it or take it home with him, then some other child will get it. Um, I have a, a, a Lionel train set upstairs as well that I'm going to sell that falls into the same category. He has learned to swim, so he really doesn't need the flippers in the pool anymore. He's outgrown this stuff, but Orlando doesn't want to get rid of it. So I decided it's theirs, their thing together. The kite, you know, it can it can hang out. It can stay um, because they they will do that together. But those flippers, some other child can enjoy those. And if Avery doesn't need them anymore, then they can go away to keep what we would like to think Avery needs. So that's it. But guys, look at the difference. And I haven't even gotten you down here. Look at how clean the floor is. Extra drinks, extra paper towel. In the back is my uh, spot cleaner for carpet and furniture. And one bag of the bottles. And I know you think, why does she have all those liquor bottles? Well, I craft with them. I DIY with them. I don't, I don't drink all of that. My friends, everybody saves them for me. But I had so many. I got rid of a bag of them. Let's take you down. So you can see. I hope you can see down here. Oh, you need more light. But... I only kept kept the one bag, I, and I, I, I kept the bottles that were unique in shape. You know, a lot of them are shaped the same way, or I had four or five of the same shape bottles. So I kept the unique ones and for DIYing, and that's all that's in the back, back there, except for my shot. There's an extra case of uh, ginger ale. That's our soda of choice when we do drink a soda. And they were on sale, so we bought extra. Uh, prepping and we have one down here and two up top and over here is a second bag of bottles yeah because this first one had all of one kind and the second one had a variety but they were different and the third bag of bottles because there were three in this little closet I got rid of and then there's our extra paper towel the floor is clean and what I love, and you know, I always tell you, I can see my floor. I love that. I love that. And so, guys, I think we did pretty good. I think we did well. Um, I know it doesn't look like it, but that top shelf is truly, truly organized. There's nothing up there except one umbrella, the two um, rolling bags, and the one in the corner. And candles. Oh, and there are the other uh, drinks that, we, uh, that we're prepping. And there's going to be some of that because we're still prepping. Because with times the way they are right now, I think we will be prepping <laughs> for a while. Just having things on hand that we need, that we use, that we love. Okay? So I hope this has been inspirational to you. Oh, let me show you on the door. The door is not bad. Uh, just his favorite hoodie and his hat forms that he uses when he washes his caps. And that's it. And you won't believe that's not what was on there before. There were like four or five jackets because he didn't have put them back on a hanger. He just hung them on this because it's convenient. But they're all gone. And you know what? I can live with one favorite hoodie on this. Everybody's got to live right, so I'm going to let him live too. Live your life. <laughs> and more umbrellas are hanging here. So that's it. Guys, I want to thank you. Again, I don't want to leave. Let me sit this down so that I can talk to you. Because I haven't in so long. I just, I've missed you guys. So, let me put this down. Yeah, this one is finicky. Oh, just so finicky. It's going to make me shut it down and get the other, but I'm trying to work with it. There we are. So, once again, I want to thank you guys for giving me grace and waiting 13 days. Um, 
I know that it's you guys that's giving me grace and not YouTube because I know they're just dropping, dropping, dropping that view time. I want to say thank you because I do appreciate it. I want to ask you that if you've enjoyed this video, share it with someone, please. Um, let someone else know what's going on over here. Um, it's about to get busy once our lives get back into place. I have so many ideas. And when I share my, my not about my father-in-law, but my personal change in life, you'll see that um, it is about to get busy over here. So do share it. Uh, leave me a comment, a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. There's going to be lots more going on. Guys, I love you, and I appreciate everything you do. I appreciate every time you watch. I really, really do. And if you stay till the end, do me a favor. Let's see, what mood am I in today? Leave me something teal. I don't care what the emoji is, as long as it's not, you know, ugly or anything. Doesn't have to be a heart. Leave me a teal colored emoji if you hung out for the last time. Also, I'm going to try to remember. Do a shout out. If I don't, it'll be in the next next video, but at least I thought about it. So, guys, I love you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Dream.